In this video, we will introduce some of the errors that students make in engineering drawing. At the end of this video, you will see some examples of good engineering drawings. In this uh, drawing, no labeling of the endpoints in the front view or the top view. As you can see, A, B, and A prime, B prime. No labeling of the reference line X, Y. Also, no dimensioning for the given true length of the line was done. In this drawing, no labeling of the corners or the apex of the pyramid in the top view or the front view. The unit of mm should not be written in the dimension. Only the numbers are written. So here it should be only 60. Lettering of the number is also not proper in this drawing. It should be written in a proper technical writing. In this drawing, the wrong use of outline and hidden line. The dotted lines should be actually the solid lines. These base edges should be hidden lines as they are not visible in the top view. Projection lines are not parallel to each other and not perpendicular to the reference line. The lines of the hatching patterns should end at the outline of the section. They should not end in between. The top views of the slant edges of the pyramid is not required as this is the sectional top view. Hence, the upper part of the pyramid is removed before drawing the sectional top view. Leveling of the apex as O in the sectional top view is not required because the upper part has already been removed. Section line is wrongly drawn. It should be a short line, dot and a short line and so on. Dimensions are not required in isometric views or projections. So there should be no dimensioning in the isometric views. This edge was missing in this drawing. This is an edge which runs parallel underneath. The title block is poorly done in this drawing. This is a very poorly made drawing, poor line works, no leveling or dimensioning etc. Very poor lettering, section line is incorrect, hatching lines not properly done. The student has not shown what method he or she used to obtain point 3 in the sectional top view as this point falls on the central line. Arrow mark marking incorrectly used and labelings are poor. Development of the surface is wrong and incomplete. There is no clarity here. Levels in, should be in capital letters for the developed surface. So B, C, D, etc. should be in capital letters. Although the solution of this problem is correct, the drawing is very poor in line works, leveling, dimensioning, etc. For example, these lines should not be drawn freehand. They are straight lines and should be drawn using the drafter or a ruler. In this drawing, no reference line XY was drawn. These lines for the edges were drawn without a reference line and hence they are not parallel to each other.
Construction lines should not be used for dimensioning. Proper extension lines should be drawn. Dimension lines are not straight. Lettering is not properly done. This is not technical drawing. The student has written in a handwriting. It should be in a proper lettering. Hidden edges which are drawn as dotted lines should not be dimensioned. This edge should be dimensioned in the view where it appears as outline or as visible edge. Positioning of the arrows to indicate viewing direction after sectioning is wrong. Arrows should be drawn as shown here. If the material is integral to each other, like casting, after sectioning, there should not be an edge, hence the indicated line inside the section is not required. Wrong positioning of the sectional side view with respect to the front view. Section plane line is drawn wrongly. This part represents the rib, which should not be hatched. This diameter should be dimensioned by a liter line. It should not be dimensioned inside the view. This is a very poor work for isometric view. This is an incomplete work. No clarity for the outline of the machine parts here. You cannot understand what kind of machine part it is. Many of the edges are incomplete. This is also an incomplete isometric view of a machine part. Now let us see some of the good engineering drawing works. So this is an orthographic projection of a machine part in third angle projection systems. Here we see good line work, hidden edges are dotted line, center lines shown, correct dimensioning with a line system of dimensioning. Construction lines are thin li lines, outlines are thick lines. Dimensioning of circular part is given by leader line. These orthographic projections of a regular hexagonal pyramid by rotation method. Good outline and construction, construction line works. Center lines have been drawn. Correct method of rotation of the front view and projections for the top view has been used. Correct rotation of the first top view for the final top view. Final front view by projections from the final top view and the rotated front view. Hidden edges shown by hidden lines, which are dotted lines. Correct dimensioning has been done. However, the lettering is not properly done, so it should be technical writing and not handwriting. Isometric view of a machine parts. Good outlines, no hidden line has been shown, no dimensioning has been done, which are all according to the conventions. Shown the finer details of the edge. Used four center method for drawing the isometric view of the circular part. Both upper and base circle isometric views has been drawn properly. 
Thanks for watching this video and other videos in this channel. If you have any comment, please write them down below here.